The year is 1791 when this story happens. At this point, the royal family have been carted off from the palace into the city of Paris and they're living in the Tuileries, which is kind of like a dump. It's like, you know, it's a little bit of like, I don't know. I don't know if people like nowadays would think it was a dump, but the royal family definitely did. It was kind of shitty. So they've been drug away from Versailles by an angry mob. They're living in the Tuileries palace. And the family was like, okay, like this is okay, like living in this house. But honestly, there's a few negatives to being here, such as like, we're scared for our lives which is like honestly like the only thing that um really matters right now so like we're gonna fucking bounce so they devised a plan with axel von fersen who is the lover or was the lover of marie antoinette debated whether or not they actually did like nobody really knows but fucking whatever he was there the whole time that marie antoinette and her family are kept in the tuileries fersen is hanging around because he was like one of her favorites back in the day so he's hanging around he's like babe 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 People out here still love you, babe. They love you so much, you don't even know. Like, they love you. You have no idea. Like, they love you so much. And, like, I love you, too. Like, I just, like, fucking love you. And Maria Antoinette's like, oh, my God, like, that's awesome. Like, you make me feel really good about myself. Like, let's make sure that, like, in the future, our relationship is, like, completely ambiguous. And, like, people can't really tell if we fuck, but, like, we also fuck. So they decided that they are going to leave. And they put on these shitty-ass disguises. Horrible, horrible disguises. Like, it was, like, party city type shit like anyone would have been able to tell who they were but they did anyway and they loaded into this carriage that was fucking extra it would have been like the equivalent of a private jet in the 18th century and they're like getting on this carriage this basically private jet and they're like um it, like we're not like anybody okay like don't even look over here we're just like normal people like fucking like um we're just gonna go but like we're not actually like running away from anything so like don't even really worry about it like we're just we just like have some errands we gotta run like we'll be right back so they they pile into this carriage carriage and they take off so they're on their way to the austrian border marie antoinette was from austria and the whole time in the carriage she's probably like oh my god you guys like don't even know like austria is the fucking coolest like you can do whatever you want there and like nobody cares because it's like a dump compared to france but like honestly like one of the benefits of being in austria is that there's no french people there and like not that i have anything against french people but like you guys are a lot so like fucking we're gonna leave so they stop in a town that is not too far away from the Austrian border. And again, they're trying to be not suspicious and like, whoa, no one knows who we are. Like, we're so slick. Like, fucking you guys everyone knew who you were anyway so they stop in this town and they all get out to stretch their legs or do whatever and one of the townspeople has a coin that has the picture of the king on it and he holds it up next to the actual king and he's like sir i believe this is you and the king is like um that's like not me so we're just like gonna go but anyway the people in the town ended up holding the royal family until the new government could come send their uber pick them up drive their slow asses back to paris and the entire way back they're just people are just lining up to scream at the carriage and yell at them and tell them how horrible they were and marie antoinette was like this like really fucking sucks like um we could have like been in austria by now but like fucking like french people got in the way again so like fucking here we are again fucking okay so that's the thing that happened um they would have made it probably if they wouldn't have had this like super gigantic golden carriage with like silver dinner plates in it and chamber pots and like velvet curtains and like the whole royal traffic if they were a little bit smarter they probably Probably would have made it but they didn't so they got hauled back to paris and shortly after that the king got his head cut off so there's my story for the day that's the thing that actually happened and um that's about it bye